Before I go any further, can you all join me in raising a glass to Nathan's beautiful wife, Megan? I think we can all agree she looks incredible today. Woo! To Megan. In Megan, Nathan has found an abra obsessed dog lover. And in Nathan, Megan's found a Man United supporting, slimmer version of Fryer Tuck. <laughs> But something they both share is their love for each other. And I think it's all clear to see today that you truly have found your soulmates and you're happily ever after and the person that you're going to spend the rest of your lives with. Nathan, you truly are my best friend and like the brother I never had and I'm so proud to be stood here as your best man. Both you and Megan have always been there for me whenever I've needed you whether that be needing you to pick me up from the train station after my first few dates with Kirsten, or taking me into your home and allowing me to stay as long as possible when I was going through a really tough time and needed somewhere to go. I love you both so much, and here's to the new Mr and Mrs Hardy. It's a special day for Nathan and Megan, for today they have chosen to make a public commitment to each other through vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. Through your presence here today, you are expressing your love and support for them. The purpose of marriage is that you may always care for and support each other through every aspect of your lives. It is a decision to share love, friendship, and show mutual respect for each other as individuals. Marriage is a desire by two people, not only to share themselves and their experiences, but also to accept one another as individuals. Marriage means making a commitment to developing cooperation. It calls for honesty, patience, and sometimes humor. A good partner will be loving and caring but above all, a best friend. I, Megan Suzanne Ormond. I, Megan Suzanne Ormond. Take you, Nathan Hardy. Take you, Nathan Hardy. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And this is to you, Nathan. Nathan, as I take you to be my husband. Nathan, as I take you to be my husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. I will stand by you. I will stand by you. And be true to you always. And be true to you always. I will care for you. I will care for you. Laugh with you when you're happy. <laughs> Laugh with you when you're happy. <laughs> Comfort you when you're sad. Comfort you when you're sad. Whatever life may bring. Whatever life may bring. I will always love you. I will always love you. This is Harvey. <laughs> so, I just want to go back a couple of years to where the wedding planning all started, the proposal. I had it all planned out. We would go to one of our favourite places, Windsor Great Park. We would have a nice picnic, it would be lovely, the weather would be great. That didn't plan out well. It was absolutely freezing, but we carried on. On our way to Windsor Park, Megan stopped at every jewellery shop and pointed out engagement rings she would like. She must have thought the first hundred hints didn't get through to me. So, 
There we were. The time had come. I don't think I was ever ready, but somehow I plucked up the courage and I got down on one knee. I struggled to get any words out because of the nerves, so I just looked up and expected Megan to be crying. <laughs> well, I think she was as shocked as me because there were no tears and the, wor and the words I heard as she stood above me were, get up. <laughs> here now and to be stood up here after marrying my best friend and soulmate is the best feeling I could ever ask for. From now on I promise to, to welcome you with as much love as I do Lupin when I walk through the door. <laughs> We've already seen so much, made some amazing memories together and have so many more to come. You truly are the best thing to happen to me. You make me so proud every day and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life laughing alongside you. Yes, Megan and Nathan are now officially married and it's time for them to write the next chapter of their story. I've no doubt it's going to be full of adventures and Love Island reruns. Of course, I hope we'll remain part of their story. The family and friends who've witnessed them get married today. It's certainly a testament to Megan and Nathan how many lovely people have gathered here and I just want to extend my heart, heartfelt thanks to you all for making the effort to celebrate their wedding today. Megan, it's a hard day for any dad to give away their daughter. And for me, this is especially hard, but you're in great hands, and I couldn't have asked for a better person for you to be with. Being your dad has been the most important role of my life. Poorly paid, but very rewarding nonetheless. So finally, can you all be upstanding as I propose a toast to the bride and groom and their happily ever after. Riding room. Riding room. Nathan and Megan, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law, and you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other here in the presence of your witnesses and guests. This is the first day of your new married life together, and we all hope that it will be filled with much love and happiness. It therefore gives me the greatest pleasure to announce that we're now husband and wife, and you may kiss the bride. <laughs>